Hi, I'm Wolfgang, and this is the Velodyne's High Definition LiDAR Sensor HDL32. It comes in a sturdy hard case, Pelican case, to protect it during transportation. We're going to have a look what's inside. So you open it here with the clips, and here's what we see. We have a CD with all the data and some programs on it. We have a GPS. We have an Ethernet cable underneath the GPS. We have a power supply to power the sensor up. We have an interface box, and we have the sensor itself, nicely packaged in this little back bag. And this is the sensor. Please be careful, don't get any fingerprints on this window. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, mount this sensor on a mount. So we have four mounting screws. These are 10, 30 seconds inch uh, screws. And we also have um, holes for dowel pins for perfect alignment. So in this case, I'm going to take our mount here, take the two screws, and mount them here. Full screw, we're screwing that one in, making it all tight, and then we're going to take it and put it on a suitable surface. In our case, we're using a tripod, but that can be any surface, could be your vehicle or anything else. Well, rotate it, and that's it. So now we need to connect the sensor with power and with the um, con computer connection. So we take the power supply out of this white box and connect it to the interface box that you can see here. And I already plugged in the power into the wall. So if you plug this into the power supply, you're going to see a green light coming on here. And if I plug this connector into the interface box, you're going to see the sensor right now. It's standing still. And I'm going to plug it in now. And you see the sensor is spinning. The next step is to uh, connect the Ethernet cable. So one end of the Ethernet cable we plug into the interface box. And then the other connection we plug into the computer. Voila. And um, we have a CD with a nice DSR viewer program on it. And we're going to install that onto the computer in the CD slot of the computer. Well, in order to see a live picture now, we have to start the program, which is the DSR32 viewer. And this is what the icon looks like. So we go on it, we double click on it, and it opens two windows. And we have to make sure that in options here, we have chosen the right Ethernet port, which is the Realtek port, which is the second from the top. So we choose that one, and then we go to the live picture, live playback button. Once we press that one, voila, we see a live picture of the LiDAR sensor of this room, as you can see here. And by controlling the mouse, we can move it around. And if actually somebody moves through the room, like I will walk around here now, you're going to see me walking in the LiDAR picture, waving my arms. Well, that was it. It's all set up now. Thanks.